After an emotional week, Steelers seek normalcy and yet another AFC North title. It was Friday afternoon, and the Steelers were finishing their preparations for a game Sunday night against the Baltimore Ravens after an emotional week. For the first time all week, the subject of clinching an AFC North Division Championship came up in the locker room. It was the first time it felt the least bit appropriate to bring it up given what has transpired in the past four days. Truth be told, players are still processing what happened to teammate Ryan Shazier, who remains in the hospital recovering from spine stabilization surgery after suffering a spinal injury Monday night in Cincinnati. It was a week without precedent for every player on the team as they tried to find some normalcy amid the tribulation. Vince Williams grabbed Shazier's number 50 jersey from the locker a few stalls to his left and wore it all week in practice. Williams and Shazier are the best of friends. Even though Shazier was drafted one year after Williams and took his place in the starting lineup, they've developed a close relationship. Williams was in tears Monday night after Shazier was injured. I didn't think anything of it, Williams said. I didn't make a big deal of it. I just saw it over there in his locker. I just put it on. I knew I was going to be calling the signals. I just feel like they saw 50 in front of the huddle for so long it'd be familiar to everybody. While Williams tried to make things feel normal on the field, the locker room was a different story. It was somber at times, most notably Thursday afternoon after the players learned Shazier needed surgery to stabilize his spine. And yet it was strangely normal at other times. The daily games of trash can basketball ceased, but the rap battles several players have immediately after practice continued. The music blared Friday afternoon, and players were more upbeat. In two days, the Steelers can win the AFC North for the third time in four years. They can take another step to tour during a bye in the first round of the NFL playoffs, something that seems like a necessity at this point with all the injuries that have ravaged the squad in the past month. Honestly, as hard as it is, you just have to focus on the mission at hand, Williams said. It's a division game. It's a chance for us to close out the division. We just have to go out there and do our jobs, really. It's going to be difficult, but we have to do it. It's a big game. The Steelers are trying to win the AFC North for the eighth time since it was formed in 2002. That would be half the division titles in the division's 16-year existence. The Bengals have won it four times and the Ravens three. The Steelers have a three-game lead in the division with four games remaining. I think we've been focused, receiver Darius Hayward Bay said. Everyone has been on top of their game since we came in Wednesday to start the week, and it's been continuing all week. We understand the goal here. We understand there are other things going on with Ryan, but we're here to win a football game. It's just a part of the game. You have to focus and win. Starting in 2014, one of the traditions after clinching the division have been players donning Steelers Run the North t-shirts in the locker room after the clinching win. They did it in 2014 after beating the Bengals in the regular season finale at Heinz Field, and they did it a year ago after beating the Ravens on Christmas Day. They would like nothing more than to deliver one of those t-shirts late Sunday to Shazier. If we take a business we'll be able to do that, Hayward Bay said. 
As long as we execute we'll be able to bring a t-shirt home to Ryan. Shazier has been in contact with several of his teammates throughout the week. He has asked them to focus on the game. He wants us to succeed, defensive end Cameron Hayward said. He knows if we succeed, he succeeds. Everybody knows how much this game means to Ryan, Williams added. I can't really say we're going to play for him, but it's that little added incentive. We understand you can't take this for granted. It's a blessing to be able to play this game. It's a very violent game. At any moment you can suffer an injury. You can't take any play for granted. You can't take any game for granted. You just have to play as hard as you can when you have the ability. Come and Twitter at Trafit1.